What is up everybody? Corinne Deanna Lane here. I am back with another worship duet and this time I have my friend in worship, Joy Jobby Warren is in the building. Okay, I finally <laughs> tracked her down, right? Like I had to go to the highways and the byways, to the skyways and the trainways. <laughs> <laughs> to, get, to get her well, here, we okay? We I like really love Joy so much. Hey, like, man. I feel like we have like a kindred spirit of just like worship. I think the moment that I met you, we met at a church. Mm -hmm. uh, we were contracted into this church to basically be their praise and worship team because yeah. uh, they were going through a transition. And like, I just remember like my first encounter with you was just like, man, okay. She, like, I felt like I was like drawn to you in the spirit realm, okay? Because I'm like, I'm always after like the people that get to the father quickly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. we don't need all the like the extra and the hoopla. Let's just <laughs> get to the father right. and then bring the people with us and then we're there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And burdens can be removed, yokes can be destroyed, then we can go home. It's kind of like, you know, my thing. So, right. but that was like one thing that I was just like, yo, yeah, she's like, you know, she's in a different realm. You know what I mean? Like you're oh, having nice. the father's heart, like legitly, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that's my first encounter of you. Um, I think we probably met maybe a few times after that, uh, from that time, but it's like ever since then, like, first of all, you're the bomb, okay? Thanks, sis. You're Jim. like wonderful writer wonderful singer, wonderful worshiper, like everything. So tell us what you have going on. Oh, Lord. Um, so like you said, uh, doing music, yeah. more and more of that, just always writing. I've been doing a lot of stuff for like sync licensing these mm -hmm. days. Jingles have come up, so we praise God for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because those checks are nice. Um, <laughs> Just, you know, communicating the things that are in my heart as yeah. much as possible. Rebranding my company, Kingdom Star, which includes books, um, music, and different forms of communication, like podcasts I'm working on right now. Shout out, God Class Podcast, about to be lituation. And uh, yeah, just rebranding everything and repackaging it so that I can okay. release everything next year. Yeah. And I love what you said because I felt the same way when I met you, yes. I feel like I have, like, radar to people that mm -hmm. just have authentic hearts yeah. you know and you definitely had such a pure heart and mm -hmm. I was like oh she really loves the Lord like this is not fake yeah it's not churchy it's not you know just to be seen and mm -hmm. then you're a powerhouse vocalist too it's like you can't go wrong with that and then we was all goofy and silly in the back and, and I was like oh like, she's it sick. works oh she's <laughs> sick <no. laughs> this works you know? right so, and then I met your husband and I was like I love all of them. That's it. It's, it's what it is. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much, like for coming. No problem. Before we get into this, like, wonderful worship song that we both completely adore, tell me what does worship mean to you? To me, worship is a lifestyle. It's like, how do I live my life every day connected to God, hearing Him, speaking to Him making choices that honor him and just keeping that alive so that you know when i sing it should just be an offshoot of that daily walk mm -hmm. you know so i don't feel like so sunday service or a program is actually the worship i feel like we're just singing right now yeah, but yeah. how i live is the worship so it makes it a lot easier you know when you have to sing i think yeah let's get into it let's do it sing of your love though the seasons come quickly you have always been enough though the night may get darker and though the waiting seems long you have always been faithful to remind me of your love you Oh 
consistent through the ages. Oh, what a friend of mine. So I'll remind my soul to bless you, standing firm upon your truth. No, you cannot be shaken. I've seen what you can do. worried about? What scenarios do you play out in your mind that you've attached some completely made up outcomes to? If I make this phone call, if I knock on this door, if I send this message in this DM, uh, what will happen? And you just make up something that's completely false and it stops your progression. One of the most legendary basketball players of all time, the guy himself, Michael Jordan, once was asked in a press conference, you know, what's the pressure like when, when so much is riding on you making the last shot in a big game? And Michael looked over at him and he said, why worry about missing a shot that I haven't taken yet? Why worry about something that you haven't even tried? Why sit around and connect false endings to something that has no foundation? I think it's so important for us to take a look at the shots that we have taken and then prepare for the ones that we haven't taken. Stop worrying. Guess what? I thought I would have to quit singing until I got vocal trained and those techniques saved my career. If you use your voice for a living, you need a coach singers, professional speakers, actors, content creators, learning to utilize your voice properly will repay you time and time again. Let me be your vocal coach. By the time I was finally properly trained, I was 25 years old, signed to a record label, 
And because I started singing and performing at such a young age, very consistently and incorrectly, that caused a lot of pain for me by the time I was a teenager. So every time I had to sing, it would hurt. I would have to take days off just to recover. And so I know if I hadn't been properly trained, I would not be singing at the level that I do today. The results of training not only saved my career, but inspired me to become a coach myself. I'm very, very passionate about vocal health. I teach diaphragmatic breathing, vocal stamina, projection, stage presence, vocal health on how to just take care of your actual vocal cords. And I give you great tips to help you grow as a singer. I teach from as young as six years old and up. You can contact me via social media at Corinne Deanna Lane, or you can email me at Corinne Deanna Lane at gmail.com. Looking forward to working with you. I'm a dancer, singer, and actor, and Corinne is my vocal coach. So I'm able to hold notes longer and make them sound right, like make them pitch perfect. I've been doing vocal lessons with Corinne for about five or six weeks now, and the difference that I've noticed was instantaneous. I've learned so much about singing, so much about speaking, that I didn't realize it was so important. I'm doing things with my voice and with my diaphragm and with my breathing that I never thought I would be able to do. You can't fake this thing. Worship has to be a lifestyle. It has to be your life, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you speak. This is not a light thing. The gift that's on the inside is actually the weapon used to fight. So anything that tries to come against is praise and worship that comes out. We are the evidence. We're the evidence that God is real. We're the evidence He is a living God. We show the world that God is real. Our lives have to speak even when we're not saying anything because it's not just something that we do, it's who we are. When you need it, it comes through, it comes out of your mouth. Praise and worship comes out of your mouth. When it's time to fight, it comes out of your mouth. Praise and worship will be your weapon. It is the weapon.